I want to touch real quick about Errol Spence's eye injury because you know a lot of people are saying that um, on the this picture that you see right here that you know um, if he said his left eye was torn, it's on his right. Why is the patch on his right? And indeed, it does it does seem that way, but it's not. It's a selfie picture, and and a lot of times it's inverted. If um, I didn't know, I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I tried it on my phone. I I put my hand over my left eye and then I took a picture. And you can see that it looked it totally like it was on the other side of my face. And if the, you can look close, look at the Adidas logo is is actually flipped around too. So yeah, it's on his left eye, you know. But a lot of people are questioning if that's if he really had an eye injury or not. Um, he's come out with the picture. I believe that's as far as he's gonna go. He's not gonna show. Oh look, you see, this is what the doctor said. I had a torn retina. You see, it's on paper. Oh look, here's the X-ray or whatever. I don't think Errol Spence is gonna take it that far. The fans are just gonna have to take his word for it using that picture. Um, now you know I, I made some videos about it. There's you know some things that that seem real fishy about it. It, it absolutely. It to me it just does. You know what I mean? Especially when you sit and you think about the belt situation and you think about. All this other stuff. Now, I don't think he ducked. I don't believe he ducked. I believe um, he wanted to find an easier way to get three belts instead of fighting Ooh guys and Pacquiao and, and Bud. That's what I think. But other people don't think that. It's just how I feel like. And I still think he wants to fight Pacquiao, but he wants Pacquiao to get the belt so he can get the belt from Pacquiao while get the big bag, and then he don't have to fight Ugas. And... Then he can just maybe go into a fight with Bud or probably swing around Bud and go up to 154. I don't know. That's what I think. Other people think he's just plain straight ducking. I don't believe that because I said, okay, why would you duck if you already know how Pacquiao is? You know he's fast. You know he's strong. Why would you have to duck? Why would you even sign up for the fight? Why would you approach him, you know, in the ring and come here, come back over here, Pacquiao, talk to me? No, no, I don't think he actually ducked uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao. That's just how I feel. But you got other channels that are being straight disrespectful. And I will say it. As much slack, as much hell as I give Earl Spence, I will say it's very disrespectful for what this one channel was saying. The Thunderdome Boxing Channel, man, is a, just a disgrace, disgusting channel. And I've, I've made a video about that that motherfucker the first, uh, a while back. I was listening to his panel yesterday, and they were talking about Errol Spence's eye injury, and they were pretty much saying... Um, one guy up there was like, well, you know what? I want him to fight. Fuck that. Get in the ring, you little bitch. Get in the ring and fight with that torn retina. I want to see him fight with a torn retina. And then everybody like, why you want to see him fight? I don't care. I hope he hope shit get worse. I want him to fight with a torn retina. Why would, fuck, why would you want somebody to fight with a torn retina so they can go blind, bro? That's the most evilest fucking thing that you can say about a motherfucking person, man. What did Arrow do to you so bad that you want this man to get in the ring and blind his fucking eye? Bro, you know how precious vision is? He got kids, bro. He got family. And you wishing bad on that man. I, I can't get with shit like that, bro. You know what I mean? Rather, I think this whole thing is a little funny style or not. Assuming this dude really have a torn retina, man. Why the fuck would you put that on somebody, bro? Why would you put that jacket on somebody and, and, and wish for them to have a bad eye, bro? To get a fucked up eye. To make them go blind, attached retina. Man, what is wrong with people, bro? See... When you give out that kind of energy, it's always gonna come back to people like that. And I know that. I noticed that in life. You can't you can't give out that kind of energy, bro. And without it boomeranging back to you, man. You know, I was so tired, you know what I mean? I couldn't even I wanted to get up there and just Um if man, listen, man, I'm telling you right now, if I see another panel with Thunderdome, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna keep checking. And if they make another Ellis Errol Spence panel, I'm getting on that shit. And I'm like, bro, how the fuck? I heard somebody the other day disrespect the man, his eye, his vision, bro. Vision is important. And, and, and you want this man to get in the ring and get his eye detached and possibly lose his sight just because you don't like him, man? Come on, man. You taking this, you taking this boxing shit a little too serious, bro. But that's just my take, man. That Thunderdome boxing dude, he's a, he's a bitch ass motherfucker, dude. Him and his supporters and his followers, bro. That's real suspect shit right there. I can't get with it. I can't get with that. You know. Um. But anyway, man, go go listen to that live. Go listen to one of I think it's the last Thunder 
Thunderdome Boxing did a lot, I think yesterday, it was yesterday, about Errol Spence, about his eye injury. Go check it out and you hear the disgust. I, I think it was more than one person. Disgusting. Absolute disgusting shit to hear, bro. I don't care who it is. It could have been Fury, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence. You never disrespect. You don't never go that far as to disrespect a fighter, bro. And say you wish for them to get an injury. You wish for them to get killed in the ring. You wish for them to get their vision lost in the ring. These dudes are still risking their life for our entertainment. Rather, they fucking us over with it or not. I get it. But that's no reason to wish somebody have, to, you know, wish bad vision on a motherfucking dude, man. I, yo, I see a lot of channels that don't like what's going on with Errol Spence right now. They call him a duck, blah, 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 blah. But none of them said anything about they wish physical harm on this brother, man. You, that's, that's crossing the line right there. You know, so let me know what you think. Go check out that fucking live from that fool. Um, like, subscribe. Hey, I'm going to check y'all later on the next one, man. And I love y'all, man. And I'm off this.